Hey, so just got the Hepco and Becker rear mini rack from Moto Machines for my Ducati Scrambler desert sled. Gonna open it up, see what's inside, and get it installed on the bike. Eventually this will hold a one gallon tank I brought from Rotopax. So you see here, this is the uh, one of the sidearm mounts. Here's the actual rack that goes in the back. Um, the other sidearm mount. And there should be two mounts for the side of the bike, left and right and then various uh, bolts and nuts. All right, so yeah, let's do this. Okay, once again, just gotta take off the seat. So first we need to take out these plugs. There should be two on each side of the bike. Next is we're going to need to unbolt the fender to have enough room to bolt in the side mount for the tail rack. I ended up being just fine unbolting the bottom two bolts of the fender, but you may find that you need to have more room to tighten the bolts for the side mounts. So the side mounts, there'll be two bolts for each and it's pretty, you'll see which side is left and right, but it's pretty intuitive. And uh, just use an Allen key to get those in and tighten nicely. This is the only place where the rear tail rack will actually mount to the bike, so you want to make sure these are pretty secure. Once this is done, you can go ahead and bolt back on the fender. Okay, once the side mounts are in, it's time to bolt in the side arms for the tail rack. Each side has two bolts. Um, this is probably the simplest part of the install, and you can tighten these down fully once you have them in. Once that is done, it's time to pop on the actual rack. You may find that you need to push apart the side mount slightly to get all four, four bolts in, but it should already be close enough where it's not that bad. It's a really simple install and looks great on the bike. Um, doesn't block the side view and it really adds some extra room for touring. I'm about to install the Rotopax one gallon fuel tank on it, but like I said, it can be used for like a hard touring bag or like soft touring bag. Really, it's pretty versatile and I think it looks great. Okay, onto the parts from Rotopax. Uh, like I said, I bought a one gallon tank, uh, single mounting plate for the tank and uh, the pack mount. This is just done with those two bolts. It comes with more than enough hardware to suit your needs, however you end up mounting it. But the first thing to do is bolt in the bottom part of the locking mount into the mounting plate. Next step is to find a secure way to bolt in the plate to the mini rack. I found a way to get three bolts in, two pretty good spots in the back and one semi good spot in the front. I ended up buying this, the mounting plate because I thought it would be a lot easier to mount in the tank to this rear mini rack, but honestly, a lot of the bolt cutouts don't actually line up with the rear mini rack, so I was a little bit disappointed in that. I decided not to drill new holes into the plate for this part, but if you like to have some more secure holes, I'm sure that'd be fine. So yeah, just get those nuts torqued down nicely, and the last step is to get the one gallon tank on. It just slips on over the mount, and the top part of the locking mount screws in. I had to unlock the lock first for this part, but it really depends on which mount you buy. But it really depends on which mount you buy. You'll notice the bottom part of the upper portion will rest over the two dimples in the fuel pack when completely screwed in. You also notice that it becomes a little bit harder to twist the top part of the mount. Uh, once this happens, just pop the lock back into the mount and the install is complete. I'm super excited to start doing some more touring on this desert sled. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Catch you on the next one.